Hi everyone, Dr. Lee here from Your Vet Online and this is little Mordecai and thanks so much for taking part in this week's Take A Guess Tuesday. Right, let's find out what we saw in those pictures. Oh, bless you. All right, we'll let you down, Mordecai. In today's photos, we saw two pictures of dogs with some very weird looking swellings. And many of you actually guessed correctly, and that this was indeed intradermal allergy testing. I want to take a moment now to explain a little bit more about what intradermal allergy testing is and when we use it. So, whenever we have an animal, whether it's a cat, dog, horse, that's allergic to something, we need to try and find out what the cause of that allergy actually is. So, there's a few main causes of allergy. One is an inhalant allergy, so ones that we breathe in, and those are things like pollens, dust, mold, and we also call this type of allergy an atopy. Then we've got contact allergies, and these are when those allergies that occur when your animal touches something. So it could be plants, fibres such as wool, pimethrins or other pesticides that they touch with their feet or around their neck with a collar. And then of course we've got food allergies and these are when your animal reacts to certain proteins in the food and they often get itchy red skin or they might get a GI upset such as diarrhea. Your animal may be suffering from an allergy if they show signs like itchy and red skin and they might often chew their paws and you see that brown staining around their mouth and their paws basically. They might also show signs of vomiting or have frequent diarrhea. Sometimes they start to sneeze a lot and they may reverse sneeze. Now I've got a video on that you can check out. Or they might have a cough or lots of runny eyes all the time. Sometimes they also get those persistent ear infections. Now if they get those, it's usually a sign of allergies. Look, it's always a good idea to consult with your vet if your pet does have an allergy, because really we don't want to waste all this time. Like everyone always thinks it's food and you waste so much time and money on food trials and yeah, it's really not warranted. Anyway, so going back to our pictures of intradermal testing. And this is what we call the gold standard for determining what an allergy is actually caused by. Right, we use this if we suspect that your animal has inhalant or contact allergies, not for food allergies. So we're gonna do food allergies in another video. You might have also heard that blood testing can be used to determine what's causing an allergy. Sadly, not all blood tests are worth the paper the results are written on and I tend to not really use them too much unless a specialist is advising on that. Okay, right, while the skin testing is a little bit more expensive, the results are very reliable in comparison to okay. blood tests. While intradermal skin testing is ideal for working out what an animal is allergic to, the whole point of doing it is so that we can instigate a treatment protocol. And this involves a process called immunotherapy. Basically, we're making a vaccine against the allergens that your pet has so that it doesn't respond anymore. So if you aren't prepared to go through the treatment process, really there's no point in performing the intradermal skin testing in the first instance. Okay, so let's talk about the actual process. Okay, first up, what we do is we give your pet or your horse some sedation, and that's just so that they're kept nice and still, they're not concerned about what we're doing. We clip, for, for cats and for dogs, we clip an area on the chest, on the thorax, and for horses we often, you know, do a test on the neck. We have a special grid layout where the skin is injected with small amounts of about 48 to 50 different types of environmental allergens. Some people will put a little bit of green dye, which we call fluorescein, underneath the, in the, that little bit of, um, you know, in those injections, and that helps us to see the responses. There's a special layout so we don't forget which allergen has been injected into each spot. 
Okay, so for some allergens, we do actually expect a reaction. So we, what we wanna do is we weigh up for the size, how much redness there is, and how big and strong and bleh, it is. So the panel of allergens includes things like house dust, house dust mites, trees, grasses, weeds, pollens, insects, fleas, storage mites, moles. There's heaps there. Okay, we then we have to wait, after we've injected it, we wait about 20 minutes or so, so that we can have plenty of time to see all those swellings and any signs of positive reactions. And when it's complete, we'll determine whether or not immunotherapy and or allergen avoidance will be the most appropriate course of action. Sometimes it's not. But if we do decide it's the best course of action to treat the allergies, we do see some good success rates with around 60 to 80% eliminating the need for other medications. So we do have really good control over the signs of itch. So how does immunotherapy work? Basically what we're doing, we're injecting small amounts of what the pet is allergic to and gradually increasing the dose over time so that the pet actually builds tolerance to these allergens. The same process is actually used in humans, so that's pretty cool. This is most often done by injections under the skin, but sometimes we might put drops on the tongue and it can be once a day or twice a day. So yeah, frequency of the shots can vary, but often, yeah, we, we tend to do it um, daily initially and then as time goes on, it might go to like twice weekly. Sometimes immunotherapy needs to be continued for at least a year before we can actually determine effectiveness. So it is a long-term process for you. There's no quick fix things happening here. And during this year, we will provide your pet with medications to control those signs of all those allergic reactions they get. The big thing I think I guess I need to explain is that the intradermal testing does not diagnose allergies. What we're doing with the testing is determine the context of performing and pursuing immunotherapy treatment. For some animals, you can have be allergic to something but have normal or negative allergy test results. And that does not necessarily mean the dog is not allergic, rather it means that the allergy shots are not a treatment option for that particular patient. Remember, the goal of immunotherapy is to control the allergies, not to cure them. What we're wanting to do is we're wanting to make sure that our pets can have a much better, happy life without these allergies that they are having problems with. All right then guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our thoughts on food allergies and how you can work out what your pet is allergic to. Thanks for tuning in, and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give us the thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, I'm Dr. Lee from Your Vet Online.